Hey, this is Bert. And the only thing I love more than holiday astromech droids like the ones behind me are more holiday astromech droids like the 2024 Advent Calendar by Disney and the individually packaged R4T R3 that I might argue I kind of invented. So let's check them out. No skill customs. Well, if you watch my video from last year, you'll know that, that I kind of think that the advent calendar idea for these is a little bit weird because um the, i think the whole idea of an advent calendar is you're supposed to have something that you can use or play with on day one you know like each day you get something cool and really when you bust open one of these and it's just a leg or a head or whatever it's not really there's not really that much play value to it but this is what they're going to do to get me seven different droids every year for the holidays i'll take it so we're just going to bust all these open and uh Take a look at what's inside, and I'm just going to give you my opinions about this year's selection of droids. Now, I suppose what you could do is you could have your kids, uh, you know, open like four or five at a time. Maybe you do it, you know, you wait till the weekend and they just open them all at once and you can put together the droid. Uh, but really doing them one day at a time, it's like, yeah, I got a bunch of drinks on a little stand thing. Not not that exciting. It's when you put them all together uh, that you have something cool. All right, and I can tell already we got parts to the, the gingerbread astromech. Just looking at the box, one of my favorites from this year already. All right, so if you open days one through five, you get all the parts you need to make the gingerbread astromech. And like I said, this is just one of the coolest. I, I just love a theme that allows for them to paint lots of details and and the gingerbread frosting look, uh, uh, this white rim around uh, everything is a uh, pretty fun look. Brown's a kind of cool color for a droid, too. All right, and then uh, he cleverly comes with the uh, with glasses of milk. Honestly, I think that's uh, any gingerbread droid's worst enemy. But you probably don't want to actually put the third leg in this one because they, they look kind of weird with tilted drinks. Just doesn't seem right. Seems kind of dangerous, if you ask me. So the first uh, droid is, is this guy took up uh, days one through five. Not every single one of the droids takes up uh, five days, though. So we'll, I'll tell you how many days each one in case you want to do that thing where you just let your kids open a whole bunch at once. So the next droid in line is a BB droid, a BB-8 style droid. And uh, if you want to do this day by day, this would be the lamest droid. I love, I actually love the droid overall, but... Uh, on some days, I mean, you get you get a, a half of a sphere on one day. On the last day, on day 10, so 6 through 10, you just get this little teensy scarf and a teensy hat. And I, and I get it, but but to me, that just kind of shows you that you really, you really got to open these all at once. Or at least one droid at a time. Okay, I had a real hard time getting the two halves together. It's not really clicking. And, and yes, I lined everything up on the inside. So I don't I don't know what the deal is there, um, but yeah he looks pretty cute. They already did make a, a snowman droid last year, uh, but I, I this one is even more appropriate having it as a BB droid. It looks like the big balls of snow that you kind of stack on each other. Not taking anything away from this guy, I like him too, but because he's got the the brown legs that kind of serve as the the twigs for arms. So they're they're good companion pieces for one another. All right, so that takes us six through 10. Let's see what's next. All right, the next droid is assembled in just two days, actually. This is uh, the 11th and the 12th. And you kind of learn something, or at least I learned something new about the toy I already have. So here at on your left is the R1 droid from the Mandalorian season one episode. And on the right is, is the toy you get on the 12th. So I didn't realize until this figure that, that this uh, other one came apart right there. So that that was kind of cool. I didn't I didn't ever know. All right. So on day one, you get the stand, or day eleven, I should say, you get the the stand and this this base piece. And then on day twelve, look at all the stuff they give you the the head and the torso. And this one's kind of like a candy cane and a bell all put together. It's pretty pretty darn cool. I like I like that that theme. Mine got. Mine, the, this antenna piece got bent. I don't know if I can bend that back up. Uh, put a little stress on it. All right. It's going to look all good enough like that. 
Yeah, but I, I thought this was a pretty, pretty cool inspired piece here. Again, kind of funny that, that in just two days you build this, the biggest droid of them all, when it took you five days to build this BB droid. Okay, so they don't, I don't know if they really have that worked out, but oh well. You're probably not going to open these up one at a time anyways. On day 13, we get another revelation. It is the fact that apparently you can take apart the Gog droid, or maybe you can't take them apart, but you can assemble one. So 13, 14, 15, and 16 all go together to make the Gog droid, one of my favorite types of droids in Star Wars. Just got to pay attention. If you look, there's a, a short side and a long side with that little plus sign piece there. Just got to make sure that the, that the small dot goes in the short side and the big dot goes in the big side. And there you go. Yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not going to go take apart my gonk droids anytime soon to try that out. But maybe, maybe they can. But uh, this this one right here reveals that that somebody has never wrapped a present before. Because when you wrap a present, I don't know if you guys know this, but... I thought it was common knowledge. You don't uh, finish up your present with a Santa hat on the top. What most people do is they put a bow on top. But last year, they made the same problem. He didn't come with anything. And, and it's just like they've got a bow right here. They've already made one. I would, I would gladly accept that bow on there. I don't know. Does it, does it fit? It didn't fit on last year's one. Maybe... It, Maybe it could fit on this year's. Oh my gosh, it fits. There we go. So that's that's already, I'll tell you what, that's what I'm going to be doing with mine. I'm going to swap their, their hats. So I'm going to take this droid from last year, give them the Santa hat. There we go. And the world rejoiced. Okay, let's keep on moving. So that, that does mean actually that, that the hole on last year's one is a little bit smaller because this doesn't really go in there. Again, if you missed it, this guy is, is days 13, 14, 15, and 16. For days 17, 18, and 19, you get the parts to make B2 Emo as a droid. Um, he's kind of fun. Uh, you can kind of open him up and reveal more uh, yellow on the inside there. Uh, basically, you plug on his droids, or <laughs> you plug on his feet roller things. Um, and uh, so you get two of them per day. And if you guys remember... B2 Emo, uh, the droid in Andor, had one big foot at the back of him. And they do give you the, that big foot. Uh, but because they, you know, the head spins around, it's hard to tell where the, the back is on, a, on this droid. So I went and I looked for this raised piece because he's got a raised piece on the front and not on the back. They're both the, the same. So I found that raised piece. And then the double check, there's this uh, exposed detail on his his right, but you know our left as you're looking at him, and ah, there's no exposed detail there. His is on this side. Now you can rotate the the top part of the head, but you can't rotate any of these the rest of these segments. So they, I, I mean, I wouldn't exactly say they put them together wrong because they can do whatever they want. It's just this made up gift box droid here. It does make it hard to decide where to put. That big leg but I'm gonna stick with it like this and have that exposed piece on on this side because that kind of, that's kind of what it looks like in the pictures now I was gonna say I thought it was gonna be difficult to get the feet in but they they went in very easily and just like the other droid they they can slide uh, closer and further apart back and forth if you want them to all right so there he is all put together on day 20 you get an RDO droid all put together I mean, I don't know if they're going for anything in particular with this guy. He's just Christmas colors. is all pretty cute. Definitely never going to pay 17 bucks for this. So this is the only way they could get out a figure like that. Unless they were just going to give him away as an accessory. Days 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 are going to add up to our mystery chopper droid. Now I'm about to show you the last droid from this advent calendar. But there's also the droid that I invented last year that Disney made for me. And I guess for you this year so we'll, don't don't forget to stick around and check that one out so here it is the last droid from the advent calendar and it's a penguin pretty cute 
Uh, it's Chopper as a penguin. He's got like a, I don't know if the red's supposed to be like a little scarf on or what, but he's got like the little, the markings on his head like a, I don't know, is that an emperor penguin? And little, little orangey yellow feet. Uh, I got to tell you though, the, the arms on the side, they use the same, I mean, it's supposed to be the same size hole that holds it in the top and the top holds pretty well, but the sides... I mean, I couldn't even get it to hold anything on this side. Yeah, it just falls right out. This one holds it, the arms a little bit better, but but yeah, don't expect, yours is like mine, don't expect to put the arms on the uh, side of the droid. Our little penguin dude comes with a wreath that rests on his shoulders, but I, I think it's actually too much for this guy. I kind of like him better without it. You know, I think it obscures the, the penguinness of him, but I'll use it on somebody else. Now let's uh, look at that droid that I claim to have invented. Okay, now here's what I'm talking about. Last year, I made a little suggestion uh, for what they should do in the future, and they made almost the exact same thing. And and people might say it's just a coincidence, and, I, and I, I, it could be. It could be. It's kind of an obvious droid, I think. But it just looks so much like the design that I came up with. But I, I got to tell you, I'm just, I'm just so thrilled. I mean, I came up with it last year because I wanted to see it. Now I kind of feel a little bit of pressure to come up with something new for this year. Okay, so if you're wondering how I feel about this droid, I absolutely love it. I love the ideas that they came up with that I didn't think of, um, like this kind of stripe of dots there that, that, that behaves like lights, and then the alternating red, gold, and blue uh, decorations throughout that, that I think are designed to feel like ornaments. So, I, I mean, and then this, the using the dark green throughout too, I just thought uh, they took my idea or, or independently came up with the same exact thing that I did and uh, did a fantastic job with it. So, uh, yeah, super pleased this year. Just the coolest thing to, to uh, see something that you designed be turned into a toy, even if it was only by coincidence. But I do have an idea for next year. All right, here it is. I was thinking they haven't really done Santa. You know, they, they did snowmen. They've done uh, nutcrackers, elves, and reindeer even. But they've never done Santa. So uh, why not uh, Santa? I know it would kind of look a bit like the, the nutcracker one. Or does my, my design here does look like an, uh, the nutcracker one. But I think it's enough different uh, that it could work. So that's it. Uh, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, maybe I'll see you again next year with another Advent calendar. Who knows? I, I like the concept. I think overall this has been really fun. I like all the different designs they came up with. Would I go for another seven droids next year? Absolutely. I just love these, uh, and it's just, I don't know, makes for a fun, cute little uh, Christmas display every year that I like setting up. This has been Bert. I'll see you next time.